Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get access to Spotify for artists even before you have a single song released on Spotify. And the reason why you might want to do this is because your first single, you probably want to pitch it to Spotify editorial playlist, and two, you probably want to get your profile and everything hooked up on that end so that it's ready from day one. You know, for some people this isn't the biggest deal in the world, but for other people it is, and I have a new project that I'm launching on February 25th. And so because of that, I, I really wanted to get every, all my ducks in a row ahead of time, and I was actually kind of shocked how how easy it was because I heard a lot of rumors online about like how long it would take. So the first thing you need to do, now I, I use DistroKid here. I, I'm assuming this will work with any other distributor. However, DistroKid is known for having really fast um, upload time. So for example, what I had to do is I had to upload my song through DistroKid and then roughly like 24 to 48 hours later, I could proceed to the next step. Now, since I already have Spotify for Artists set up for the other projects that I'm in, uh, for me, what I had to do, and if you're in the same boat, this is what you'll do. You log into your account, click this little menu thing in the top left where your profile picture is. You click this up arrow and you add team. And now you get to choose artist team and you can type in the artist name. So you just literally type in the artist name or on DistroKid, and I'm assuming any other distributor you use, you go to goodies, helpful when needed, Spotify URI looker upper. <laughs> Um, if you have a song that isn't out yet, you can actually get the Spotify and Apple Music stuff ahead of time. You, you come here, you request it, 24 hours later you'll have access to it. So you could get that link and then you can come here and you could put the artist, uh, the Spotify artist URI here or just type in the name and it'll pop up and then you select it. Now, if you don't have a Spotify for Artists thing set up for any other artist, and I'm going to show you this in a incognito window because there's no other way for me to really do it, you'll just go to artist.spotify.com on the top right you'll go to get access. You'll choose artist or manager, and then it'll make you log into Spotify. And if you don't have an account, you just make a free one. And then you do the same thing. You'll just type in the name of your artist, copy in the Spotify artist URI, and then um, you'll request it essentially. So there is one more step, but before we do it, I wanna point out why we didn't just go through DistroKid or whatever distributor you have, go to special access and go to Spotify for artists. And the reason is this won't actually populate until your song is released. So. If you wanna go through the super quick access, you just wait till your song comes out and pull it up here. Like literally it'll give you instant access. And a member of the Spotify artist team is gonna reach out to you and they're gonna say, hey, we're just confirming that you're you. Could you provide us with the UPC code of your release? And so to do that, I just go back to my distribution. I can go to the song and I can go grab the DK UPC code. I think they asked for the name of the song, so I said name of the song, Headlock, UPC code this, and I think I might have threw in the ISFC code too for good measure. And then um, like less than a day later, they replied back and they said, you should have access now. And so at this point I was able to log in, I could go to my profile section and I could put my banner, I could get my picture, I could write a small about section, I could link my social media stuff, I could go to music, I could go to upcoming releases, and I could pitch my song for a project that doesn't exist and isn't even on Spotify yet. So all in all, this entire process of uploading my song and then being able to pitch it to editorial and having my Spotify for Artist account set up, literally only took a little more or roughly two days. So on, on DistroKid, you can see that I uploaded this January 28th, 2022. And I don't think there's anything that I can't show here. So I'm gonna pull this up. Um, this is the email I got from Spotify on January uh, 30th. And then I replied to them. And then later, January 30th, they um, gave me the login info. So literally like, around two days. Now, I'm again, DistroKid's really fast to send things to Spotify. If you're using CD Baby, add like two weeks to this whole thing because they're at least last time I checked them, they were very slow. Um, now, I also have a priority account in DistroKid. So I would say if it took me two days, um, maybe assume it's going to take you three or four just to account for the fact you might not know what you're doing. My dog just groaned a bunch. It's funny. <laughs> um, and the fact that you might take you an extra day to get your music sent over. So now that you know how to do that, you might be wondering how to write promote my music. And that's where you can check out this playlist right here where I have a bunch of videos showing you how to market your music, specifically a lot with Facebook ads, but also other stuff too. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.